Hello. Um, yeah, so this is me on a Tuesday morning, again with the hair that's needing a haircut. Um, have been reminded by my loving wife that I need to go and cut my hair. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the point of the randoms, I guess, is to not have it be too prepared and too structured. And some of that also is hair that's needing a brush. Um and that I'm fighting with while the camera is recording. Uh, maybe I should just leave and not worry too much about it. Um, yeah, so excuse the, the strangely sprouting here on my head right now. <laughs> I'm just making it worse. Let's try this. No, it's just this little piece here. Let's try that. No. And no. Anyway, I give up. Um, yeah, so it's been um, probably a few days since the last um, video that I made. Um, so, so these are these random um, videos because um, I had planned to have a more structured approach to doing the videos for the last few years, as I've mentioned before. Um, but this is about progress um, more than perfection um, because I think with the goal of having these videos perfect, I've not made them. Um, I definitely feel that I want to make these videos um, and fight with my hair in the beginning of them. Um, so today is, um, I guess, a somber day in a certain sense that um, Thurston's last remaining grandparent passed away last night. Um, and he shared something, it's, which is actually a, a poem that I've seen before and I, I really enjoy. Just because it signals and it talks about the, the permanence of the soul um, and the fact that our physical bodies will eventually um, come to an end and we, we pass away physically. Um, but I do believe that soul um, is eternal um, and the soul is with us and the soul returns to the larger pool of all, all life that will be, uh, has been and is. So I want to read that poem as a way of Kind of having it for future um, people um, and it's important for it to be in my voice because I actually wanted to be there as a reminder and for something that people can listen to one day when, when I can't be there to read out these words um, so feel free to, to use it um, somewhere when the time is right So I'm just going to keep my phone here to read. Um, so this is a poem by Mary Elizabeth Fry, and it goes um, as follows. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I'm not there. I do not sleep. I'm in a thousand winds that blow. I'm the softly falling snow. I'm the gentle showers of rain. I'm the fields of ripening grain. I'm in the morning hush. I'm in the graceful rush of beautiful birds circling in flight. I'm the starshine of the night. I'm in the flowers that bloom. I'm in a quiet room. I'm in the birds that sing. I'm in each lovely thing. Do not stand at my grave bereft. I'm not there. I've not lived. So, yeah. Deep. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, um, I, I believe that life should be celebrated. Um, and life, life, is, life is not perfect and people are imperfect and we, maybe we shouldn't romanticize 
um, people, but we should remember them for the good that they tried to do um, while they were here. Um, and in talking about what people have done while they were on this earth, um, I, I, I don't like, um, you know, this argument that, that people and probably mostly teenagers have when they say, um, Ugh, but you know, I didn't ask to be here. Uh, my mom and dad brought me into this world. I didn't ask to be here. Uh, um, and it's such a slap in the face of the beauty and the blessing of life. Because um, very few people, um, I think, reflect on what we have been given. Um, there, are lot, there are lots of um, miscarriages and and babies that don't make it, don't, or, or, or kids that die young. Um, and, and me as a 40 year old, I feel extremely blessed um, for all these years. I don't know how much more, how many more years um, I will have. But from this point, I really feel blessed for each and every year. Um, I'm not naturally someone I think that, that, that shows emotion easily. Uh, and I think people probably get a sense that it doesn't matter much. But it really does. I, I do care about every additional memory that I'm able to be around for. Um, for a highlight in Alia's life, you know, it'll soon be high school and then it's going to be matric and then it's going to be university and she'll get a job and get married, have kids, you know, all of those things. So um, I do appreciate all of that. But I think a life is also defined by what you do in terms of your duty and your purpose. Um, and I think those are two important things that we need to maybe reflect on um, when talking about the gratitude you have for your life. So there are certain things that are your duty. Um, and I think some cultures instill that a bit more deeply. I, fi I find that um, Asian cultures have that sense of duty more strongly um, and being respectful um, to seniors and their society and their culture. Um, and, and I don't know if within the Cape Town environment we struggle with that because we are a, a colored slash Malay slash Indian community that is displaced, you know. Um, it's, and you know, many people say that we are South African now, and we are African now, and we should we should adopt that. Um, but I think, to a large degree, we we still have a, a feeling of of, of disconnect, um, and I think it's most prevalent probably around Heritage Day. Um, but I think we do have a duty. We might not like that duty, um, but we have a duty to our kids. We have a duty to our spouse. We have a duty to our parents, no matter how challenging that could be. Um, and, and I think we all have different levels of understanding and acceptance of that duty. But I think a life well lived is a life worth duty. Um, um, for me personally, I think some of that duty has been through my work in government to, to people that are disadvantaged. Um, and I do feel compelled um, to assist people. The other part that I mentioned earlier was purpose. Um, I think common understanding now is starting to ground around the concept that um, that life is not about being happy all the time. Like if you're searching for happiness all the time, you will be disappointed. Life is about finding a purpose. Um, there's that nice Venn diagram, which people call Ikigai, and apparently it's not Ikigai, but if you search Ikigai Venn diagram, you kind of find um, that diagram. Um, it kind of matches what you're good at, um, what the world needs, you know, you know, what you enjoy doing and all of those things into finding that purpose for you. Um, and, you know, it doesn't always come immediately. So uh, if it is that you haven't found that purpose yet, give it some time. Um, it's, it's, it's better a life found, uh, spent finding an authentic purpose than adopting a super superficial purpose just for the sake of having a purpose. Um, yeah. Um, 
we're probably going to end off soon. Um, the last thing that I, I have been thinking about a lot, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned in previous videos, is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Um, I think it's a concept that really should be fundamental in how we approach life and society. I think I do still battle with people that want to try and focus on the tip of the pyramid religiously. So a focus on the higher self, but on the lower levels, there isn't that stability um, within their lives. Um, and I feel that it's, it's, it's problematic for me, especially in the areas that have poverty, where there are people that are struggling to make ends meet, to have safety and security and food on a daily basis. But they are told that if they spend one of the days of the week praying, that all their life's issues will be solved and they will end up in heaven. So don't really bother too much about this test, this test in the real, on earth. In, on earth. Um, yeah. So I'll probably unpack more of my thoughts with regard to that. Um, but for today, I think um, I, I wanted to read the poem. Um, I, read it, I read it earlier and I felt that I wanted to, to read that poem and talk about duty and purpose, um, which I think is important for a life well lived. So yeah, next time I will probably have a different hairstyle because this is long due, a haircut. Um, and I hope you are well, and I hope you are at peace, and I hope um, you can find something to smile about today.